Hello? Oh, hi, George. What? Wait, you're kidding. Where? Oh, gee, that's awful. No, not tomorrow. We better count them tonight. Well, look, why don't you all come over here? Okay, I'll see you. Gee, this is awful. What's the matter? Well, he found another ballot box and it hasn't been counted. Well, you mean there's a possibility that Terry didn't win? Yeah, there's a good possibility. Lois Harper's only seven votes behind her. Gee, that's not very much. You're telling me. And Lois is a chemistry major. Well, what difference does that make? Well, the ballot box they found was in the chemistry building. Well, that's great. You've already told Terry she won. Uh, don't remind me. Fellows from the committee aren't here yet, huh? No. I don't know what's taking them so long. Well, I don't know why you're so worried. Anyway, there's only one box that wasn't counted. You don't understand, Mom. Terry's only ahead of Lois by seven votes. The box is from the chemistry lab, and Lois is a chemistry major. Well, how'd you happen to tell Terry, anyway? Well, it's not easy to keep a secret like that. I did my best. Well, there they are. It's about time. How'd you guys happen to forget this? Well, don't blame us. You're the chairman. What difference does it make anyway? We've got it now. Come on, you guys. Let's get started. Well, what's your hurry? We just got here. Hey, have you got any new albums? No, nothing you haven't heard before. Come on, let's count the ballots. Relax, will you? We haven't had anything to eat. Hey, are we going to eat? No, we're going to count the ballots. This is a business meeting. Okay, Mr. Chairman, you're the chairman. It's a lucky thing we discovered this before we announced the winner. Yeah, this could have been very embarrassing, especially if it changes the results. Well, come on, let's count them. Well, why do we have to count them tonight? Why not? Well, I'm not so sure I want to know. I've got a date, and my girl's going to keep pestering me to try to find out who won. I think Wally's right. If we don't know who won, we can't let the secret out. Let's count them tomorrow. That's a good idea. Then we can just tell everybody we don't know. You guys act like you can't keep a secret. Well, it's tough when you know something everybody's trying to find out. Betty's hardly speaking to me, because I wouldn't tell her. All those in favor of counting the ballots just before the rally tomorrow, say aye. 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 Regardless of your life. Come here, Wally. Hey, you guys. Hey, Rick. Who won? Gee, I, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Uh, did Terry win? Oh, I don't know, Bob. Well, you, you told us before. Yeah, come on, we won't tell anybody. No, oh, that's not the point. I don't know who won. Congratulations, Rick. I understand Terry's still the winner. Uh, you're wasting your time, Mom. Nobody knows who won. How come? Well, the guys decided it'd be safer to wait and count the ballots just before the rally. Well, what are you going to do about Terry? Gee, I don't know. She's going to feel awful if she doesn't win now. Well, she's still got a good chance. She was ahead. Yeah, but only by a couple of votes. I'd sure feel a lot better if I knew. Well, the ballots are right here, and I've got the key. Oh, Ray, you, you can't open the ballot box unless the rest of the committee are here. Well, I wouldn't change any votes or anything. I just want to know who won. A and you and Mom could be my witnesses. Uh, I think the word is accomplices or partners in crime. <laughs> now, wait a second. I'm just as ethical as anybody, but what harm would it do? After all, he doesn't want to change the votes. He just wants to find out if Terry still won. <laughs> Your dad's right. There's something wrong about it. Yeah, I guess you're right. But what do you think I ought to do about it, Pop? Well, I think the best thing to do is phone Terry over at the sorority house and tell her exactly what happened. Well, they've got about four extensions over there and a sorority sister listening in on every one of them. <laughs> well, it's still early. Why don't you take a ride over there and tell her? Yeah, I guess that's the best idea. She'll certainly understand. Yeah, I'm sure she will. Oh, sure. Well, don't look so unhappy about it. I'm the one who's going to get thrown out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good luck. Oh, hi, Rick. Oh, hi, Terry. Come in, sit down. Oh, uh, no thanks. I can only stay a minute. See, I was just wondering, uh, you didn't say anything to anybody about your winning the contest, did you? Oh, of course not. Uh, are you sure? Well, that is nobody except Kathy. <laughs> well, you promised you wouldn't tell anybody. Well, she's my roommate. I had to tell her. Besides, she won't tell anybody else. Surprise! Surprise! Hey, what's this? Just a celebration in your honor. It isn't every day we have a prom queen in our house. Hooray! Oh, gee, this is wonderful. But you promised you wouldn't tell anybody. But I didn't tell anybody outside the house. Just us girls, and we won't tell anybody. Let's get the cake. Come on, Terry. Okay, I'll be right there. Thanks a lot, kid. Okay, but hurry up. Gee, I'm awfully sorry about this, Rick. Oh, that's okay. 
Well, won't you stay and have some cake with us? Oh, no, thanks. You go ahead. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't worry about it. I'm sure they won't tell anybody. Oh, well, I hope not. And Rick? Yeah? Isn't it wonderful that I won? Oh, yeah, it sure is. Well, good night. Good night. Well, goodbye, Mom. Oh, goodbye, dear. And don't look so unhappy. Terry's a real cute girl, and I'm sure she's going to win. I hope so. If she doesn't, I'm going to have to leave town in a hurry. Hey, wait a minute. You're forgetting something. The ballot box. Oh, thanks, Mom. And the key. Well, it was worth a try. And stop worrying. I'm sure she's going to win. Lois. Lois, check. Lois. Lois, check. Lois. Lois, check. Another one? Are you sure? Yeah, Lois. Lois, check. Uh, now, wait a second. You marked that one twice. Huh? <laughs> Sorry. How's it stand? Well, let's see. As of right now, Lois and Terry are tied. And we've only got three ballots to go. Would you like to sit down, Rick? Uh, come on, just count them, will you? Okay, I was just trying to create a little dramatic suspense. <laughs> Lois. Lois, check. Terry. Terry, check. Oh, tie it up again. Hey, you know, this really is exciting. Yeah, come on, count them. The last and deciding ballot is for... Well, come on, who's it for? I'm not gonna tell you. Come on, Mom. <laughs> for Terry. Oh. Uh, come on, you guys, the rally's starting. Okay, we're coming. Come on, Rick. <laughs> Here, let me help you. Oh, thanks, Mom. I guess I'm still a little bit shaky from all the excitement. <laughs> yeah, well, it's all over now. Just relax and have a good time at the dance. I sure am glad you talked me out of counting the ballots last night, Pop. No, that's okay. Must have been quite a temptation. Yeah, it sure was. Uh, Mom, did you really think Terry was going to win? Yes, I did. Of course, I knew it was going to be close. <laughs> Boy, you're not kidding. One vote. Can't get any closer than that. Well, how did you know she won by one vote? Oh... Well, uh, uh, you told us, didn't you? No. Oh. <laughs> I, I uh, uh, must have guessed it. Well, uh, have a good time at the dance. Uh, you counted the ballots last night, didn't you, Pop? <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> now, you're a fine one to talk. Your mother picked the lock. <laughs> of course, there was nothing illegal about it. I mean, we didn't change any of the votes, and we're not on the committee. Besides, uh, we won't tell anybody. Don't worry, Pop. I won't tell anybody either. <laughs> uh, I guess no matter how big you guys get, your mother and I still worry about you. Uh, I understand, Pop. Well, good night, Mom. Good night, dear. Have a good time. Oh, thanks. Yeah, have a good time, Rick. Thanks, Pop. Oh, and, uh, Pop, you know, from now on, I think I'll worry a little about you and Mom, too. <laughs> surprise for you. Our lovely queen of the prom is going to sing a song for us. Here she is, Miss Terry Johnson. She's going to sing a duet with her lucky escort, Rick Nelson. I tried to be 